All right, we need to take a good hard look at resveratrol here for a second because some studies are indicating that it actually slows the energy expenditure postprandial and basal, meaning the resting energy expenditure, like how much our metabolism is, how fast our metabolism is, might decrease a little bit. Let's break it down. Okay, resveratrol comes under fire all the time because one side has this argument that resveratrol has uh, potential longevity effects, it can be fasting mimicking, can have all these positive effects. And the other side is saying, well, hey, like it's really hard to get resveratrol in a whole food form. And it's also possibly doing some things to our metabolism. There's these two arguments that kind of come at play. And there's one study that was published in the journal Cell Metabolism that I want to break down because it indicated that resveratrol can actually bring our energy expenditure down. Our energy expenditure is like our metabolism, right? A higher energy expenditure would mean more metabolism, a faster metabolism. Well, we need to break down some semantics here because we have to look at biochemistry and how this all plays in. Hey, after this video, check out Thrive Market. They're an online membership-based grocery store. They're today's sponsor. And no matter what kind of eating pattern you're doing, they've probably got something for you. They're pretty darn awesome. So you can log on, you can sort by different diet types, you can sort by uh, like gluten-free, you can sort by keto, you can sort by paleo. You find a plethora of foods that you want for that category and then they get delivered to your doorstep in a couple of days, easy peasy. So I've been using them for a long time. They've been a sponsor in this channel for like five years now, which is awesome. And if you use that link, because they are an awesome sponsor, you save 25% off your initial order, plus you get to choose a free gift. Okay, so that link is down below in the description. What we have to understand here is that an energy expenditure decrease is not a bad thing. Okay, I've talked about this to the nth degree when I talk about fasting or even caloric restriction. Like, look at the Okinawans, for instance, and look at different regions that when you look at the epidemiological data, like when they consume less calories, they seem to possibly live longer. And you could bet your bottom dollar that if they're de decreasing calories that their energy expenditure is lower. Okay, so that is one side of the coin, but with resveratrol, it's possibly another pathway. Okay, so there's a study that's published in the journal Cell Metabolism. Took a look at 11 obese individuals and it put them on a, uh, a randomized blind crossover design study. So like the best kind of study you could do. Okay, and they gave them either a placebo or 150 milligrams of transresveratrol for 30 days. Okay, they saw a lot of really cool things with this study. For example, they saw an increase in AMPK within the muscle tissue, which indicated that their bodies were like thinking they were in more of a fasted state, and there's some mechanistic reasons behind that. Okay, there was also an increase in CERT1. Okay, CERT1 is going to be what potentially triggers FOXO3 and other sort of uh, longevity effects within the body, so positive effects there. Okay, and also an increase in what's called PGC. Okay, PGC1-alpha specifically is what affects mitochondria and allows our mitochondria to go through biogenesis and create more of them. So more, more mitochondria means more energy factories in our body, right? Which means more places to take food and energy and turn it into actual energy for our bodies. So then when we think about it like that, it's not a huge surprise that this same study found a two to 4% decrease in energy expenditure, postprandial and basal. Well, sort of the layman that says, oh, well, this is bad because that means that it slowed down their metabolism. Think about it. Okay, when we are fasting or when we are trying to induce things like autophagy, we are trying to trigger our body to go into that restorative effect by ultimately reducing our energy expenditure, okay? So a slower metabolism doesn't mean that we're burning less fat per se. It does mean that our body is becoming more efficient. Okay, let me kind of rephrase this. An endurance athlete, okay, someone that does a lot of endurance work, there is data that demonstrates that endurance work can actually lessen resting energy expenditure because the body and the cells become so good at using fat and so have so many more factories, so much more mitochondria, that the process is streamlined. Okay, it's like driving a Prius versus driving like a diesel truck, right? It's just two different worlds, different goals, but definitely different 
in terms of like how much fuel is being used and efficiency, it's just different, right? So when you look at the resveratrol situation decreasing energy expenditure, in this particular case, I think it's what we're after. Okay, we are driving up AMPK, and that is potentially creating more uh, PGC1A activation, more mitochondria, making the body more efficient at utilizing fuel. So it doesn't mean that it's bad, and it doesn't mean that it's going to slow your metabolism to this screeching halt. You actually might find that with that efficiency gives you the potential to exercise and leverage that efficiency so that your body uses more fat. Okay, I would much rather have a 2 to 4% decrease in my energy expenditure, but know that my body's running efficiently and effectively, and when I want to burn fat, it's going to burn fat, than get that 4% increase back, or get that 4% back, and have all kinds of mitochondrial dysfunction and reactive oxygen species as a result of poor mitochondrial function or limited mitochondrial mass, right? So we just have to look at the big picture like that. So yes, resveratrol may slow down your metabolism a couple percent, a fraction of you know, your normal day. But I think at the end of the day, when you look at the benefits, it's probably still worth it. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.